Yo, what is going on, guys? It's Duplify Negative AE, and welcome to another update video. If you've not been to an update video before, uh, this is just kind of where I try to be as transparent as possible with you guys and let you guys know what my concerns are about the channel, improvements I want to see made, games I'm about to play in the future, um, and different things like that. And I'll probably ask you guys a couple of questions as well. And if any, if at any point you find that I'm not worrying enough about something or I'm worrying too much about something, uh, let me know in the comments as well as like some game suggestions that you want to see me play. Um, those are always cool to see. And maybe, who knows, I'll pick one of those games and play them on the channel. So yeah, uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is we're almost at 400 subscribers, which is insane to me. Um, I, I just want to say thank you guys. I know it sounds corny. I, I remember watching YouTube and hearing people like say thank you so much for such and such milestone and rolling my eyes and be like, wow, that's really stupid. <laughs> but it, you don't really know how special it is until it actually happens to you and... Um, there's actually 400 people that want to watch and listen to you. Um, and it's, it's just kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Like, I don't even know a hundred people and now there's 400 people that have clicked the subscribe button. I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy to think about in my head. My, my brain can't comprehend it. Um, but yeah. So, um, thank you guys. The first thing that I want to ask you guys, I just kind of want to, get your opinion on something. So on my last episode of Vagante, episode 85, uh, I think I did a great job. I don't want to be like, oh man, I did, I did great job. Freaking go watch my videos. The best video ever. No, I just want to, want to get you guys' opinion on my commentary for that. So I guess the main theme for the thing that I've been concerned about is me not being entertaining enough. Um, I remember mentioning that in my very first update video, just being like, I don't know how, like, am I entertaining enough for you guys? And I, I remember a lot of the response was, you don't really need to be entertaining because the game is kind of carries itself and stuff like that. And so even if there's lull in your commentary and stuff like that, it is picked up by the gameplay and you, you guys will continue watching or, or whatever. But I, it's still kind of just like in the back of my mind, like, oh, well, I want to get better at this so that way... You know, it's enjoyable the whole time to watch, even if it's not, even if you don't really have, like, the knowledge of the game or don't really watch the game. Uh, I wanted it to be entertaining, like, all the way through. And I think, finally, uh, Vagante episode 85, I was kind of, like, entertaining throughout most of it, I I'd like to think. Even though I forgot Fairy and I missed a couple things, I think I like episode 85 the best out of all my Vagante series. So if you could do me a favor and go check that out and let me know if it's any good, <laughs> because I know that I, I played badly and stuff like that. And most of the comments are like, why did you forget fairy? But I actually want to know, like, was I, was I better than the rest of my episodes? Did it feel kind of samey? Like if you watch another Vagante episode of mine, did it feel like I was just the same or am I just like, I might just be overestimating myself and, um, thinking that it's so good, but it's actually not very good. Uh, just let me know. I, th I think I did pretty well, but I can't be, I can't be sure unless I have like a third party look at it. So, but yeah, I think, I think my commentary held through on that. So as you guys have seen on the channel, I'm sure as of late, I've been playing a lot of Steins Gate and Hollow Knight. Um, Steins Gate's got just kind of my relaxer game. I kind of like whenever I'm like trying to do schoolwork or, um, trying to have life or whatever. It's nice to just be able to play that every other day or play a text-based game every other day and just have to click and read, uh, because I can click and read all day. Uh, Hollow Knight is this different, it's like a Metroidvania. I love Metroidvanias. I don't know if you guys were around for when I found that Metroid 2 remake or whatever. I played that like way too long on stream for, <laughs> for no reason. So I love Metroidvanias. I thought it would be cool to play a beautiful game like Hollow Knight after seeing it on YouTube or whatever. I was like, yeah, man, this totally looks up my style. It's a platformer. It's a uh, Metroidvania thing, and I like it. So uh, I'm playing that. The only thing with Hollow Knight is it's hard to get out episodes because I have to... I spend a lot of time wandering around in that game because it's not immediately clear where you have to go because you have to get the map first and then you have to uh, figure out where you have to go from there and sometimes the enemies kill you and then you won't be able to get your spirits back and I have to skip all of that with my editing software 
Um, so it might take a little bit longer to get out Hollow Knight than I originally had planned. Which kind of sucks because I really like Hollow Knight as a game and how beautiful it is. So it sucks that I'm not going to be able to get that out as much as I would like. Um, but I'm trying for every other day contrasting with Steins Gate. That being said, I want to upload more Vagante. Uh, because I know it's my most popular series and I know most of you are on the channel from Vagante. Um... At some point, like at some point, you guys were like, oh, wow, look at this Vagante. Oh, he has other stuff. I also uploaded some Catacomb Kids the other day. I don't know if you guys like that. Um, Catacomb Kids is one of those games that frustrates the crap out of me because I can't show you guys anything new, right? Like, I really want to be really awesome at that game and get to, like, the highest levels so you guys can be like, oh, yeah, that's what that is because I'm not able to get there myself. But I end up just dying a bunch. And part of that is funny, I guess. Like, part of me dying is... It's funny, like, when I go back and watch the episodes, I'm like, wow, that was, well, that was pretty funny. Because I'm just getting frustrated at, at the game. So, I don't know. Is that something that you guys like to see? You guys like to see me die over and over again in Catacomb Kids? It's a harder game. It definitely is. Um, it's completable, for sure. Like, some, like you'll get lucky and complete it. Um, but, like, most of the time, it, it's just hard. And you got to use your weapon skills, and I'm just not good at that game. So, I don't know. If you guys want to see more Catacomb Kids, I am so down. It got... It got 106 and 66 views. So people are... There's obviously an audience for it if you guys really want to see that. Um, yeah, I also have two other games. Uh, I'm going to have a voting poll on this episode uh, to which one you want, you guys want to see first. So the first game I got via gift from my friend. I told him... I was, I was talking to him about roguelike games or whatever, and it's called uh, Xenon Valkyrie. And so he got that for me. I don't know if you guys want to see that first. Or... Uh, Meganoid. Meganoid is a game by Orange Pixel. You know the people that made Heroes of, or the person that made Heroes of Loot. Uh, we played it back in the day. Um, Heroes of Loot is this really cool game that was like a like a really cool mobile roguelike thing. And so I played that a little bit on the channel. But he came out, he came out with a platformer roguelike, uh, which looks right up my style. And I already have it. Um, I just need to wait for the release date, which is in a couple days. So. It's up to you guys which one you guys want to see first. Um, Xenon Valkyrie is very interesting. Both both games look up my style. Both games look like a Vagante-ish um, deal. Or platformer. Platformers are really my thing. I really like just playing platformers and being a part of platformers. So, um, other concern, so my main concern obviously has always been commentary and am I entertaining enough and stuff like that. I think that my second problem is I don't want to get into a slump. It's it's really easy to get into this mindset that oh I'm I'm good right like I'm I'm just good enough right at the point like where I am now I'm like good enough to where I can just like sit here and be like oh yeah this is awesome but I'm then I'm not improving it's too easy to just stop and be like yeah this is good this is this is where I'm at but I'm not striving to be like the best right. I feel like I feel like I could be doing so much more with the channel if I just like spent all my time on the channel. But then I don't. I also don't want to get burnt out. And so there's the balance of like I want to keep improving, but I don't want to spend so much time on the channel that I get burnt out. Uh, which is why I'm learning. I'm learning a new language. I'm going to school. I'm trying to do other stuff so that way I have other stuff to worry about and focus on. That way I don't get too distracted with the channel. That being said, some maybe that messes up my work ethic with the channel and stuff like I don't know. There's just a balance that I need to to uphold and I'm worried about not improving. Like right now I feel like I'm in a slump and I'm not improving enough. Maybe maybe you guys are noticing improvement in my um in my YouTube channel. If you are, let me know cuz it um that helps me feel good about myself. <laughs> but uh Besides that, I, I really think that I need to kind of step it up and uh, maybe change my thumbnail up a little bit. I think my thumbnail it was nice when I when I was I was like thinking of, of trying to do like a unique thumbnail, but I think my 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 T takes up like half the screen. Um, and and although that's really cool and it, it's like different from every other thumbnail, maybe I can shrink the T down a little bit so it's just like one corner or something like that. I don't know. Do you guys think my thumbnail looks cool enough? <laughs> like, is it is it like... Or maybe I should change it because it's, it's something that I just made on the fly. I was like, oh man, I need a cool looking thumbnail. And so I spent like a, like a night on it. 
and um, that's what I came up with. So if you guys if you guys think that it would be cool or shrunk, or maybe I should just change it up entirely and make a completely different thumbnail, let me know. Um, I'm also looking for stream graphics um, or like things things that I can make ideas. I'm looking for ideas uh, for stream graphics as far as like the, like the beginning of the stream and the end of the stream or, or and breaks. I need like I need graphics for those. I also want to start streaming more. When I start streaming more, it's going to be on um, Saturday, and in the middle of the week, probably Wednesday. If you guys are around on Wednesday, the only thing that I have with streaming more than Saturday is a lot of people have like school and work and stuff, and I don't know um, if people are just going to even be around on Wednesday. And so maybe we'll just you know do random games on Wednesday and then do Vigante and all the stuff that everybody wants to see on Saturday. So that way we have this kind of balance between the Wednesday crowd who just kind of is there. Uh, yeah. See, it's, it's going to be hard to schedule the streaming schedule. <sighs> and other than that, um, is there any games that you guys would like to see? I, that's always a big part of this is like, um, to see what I know. I know that, um, a dead corpse recommended salt and sanctuary salt and sanctuary. It looks very good. It's also, it's also like, I, I think it's like $17 or something like that. Um, and I'm just looking for money right now. <laughs> the only reason I have games is because they're either given to me or I get them for free. Uh, because people email them to me, and if 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 they do email them to me, I'll say that like they gave them to me for free in the video. Um, but yeah, or I've already had them from like humble bundle sales. So yeah, so I'm, so I'm saving up for salt and sanctuary. I also bought dungeons of Dreadmore. I don't know if dungeons of Dreadmore is something that you guys would like to see. Dungeons of Dreadmore is going to, it seems like it's going to take more than one episode to finish. I'm used to like roguelikes where it'll take like one episode to be like, yeah, this is an hour episode. This is fine. But if I upload like a dungeons of Dreadmore thing, it's going to take like, two hours, three hours to, to finish, I think, depending on, like, how well I do, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I just won't do that well, but it seemed, when I booted it up and I played, like, a game, it seemed like it would take a longer amount of time, or whatever, so I guess, um, in closing, the, the last things that I just want to make sure that you guys, um, answer, I guess, is do you guys like Catacomb Kids? Do you guys want me to keep playing Catacomb Kids? Is my episode 85 of Vagante as good as I think it is? Uh, if not, tell me why not. And if it is, tell me uh, why you think it is. Um, because you don't have to tell me why you think it is, but it'll help me if you can, or if if we can find out like what what did I do? To, I don't even know what I did differently. I just find myself more entertaining in, num in number 85. Um, not to, <laughs> again, not to toot my own horn. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out like where I should be or, and what I should be doing or whatever. Also, what games do you want to see next? Uh, either Xenon Valkyrie or Meganoid. If you don't know how to vote, there's a little exclamation point in the top right. Um, that'll pop up maybe once or twice in the video and you can click on that and vote either Xenon Valkyrie or Meganoid. Let me know. Uh, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this has been a little bit longer than I would like, but um, I appreciate you listening and coming along for the ride. Thank you guys again for uh, all the new people, all the old people. I freaking I, uh, I hope you enjoy your time on the channel, even if you like leave tomorrow. <laughs> um, I really appreciate you guys, and uh, if there's anything I can do to make myself less annoying <laughs> let me know um i will see you guys later and peace out you guys